Hey, Liam Ward here at LearnTheHarmonica.com. Today I'm going to give you three easy steps to bending on the harmonica. We're going to use a C diatonic harmonica and we'll be looking at hole four. Now make sure you stick around to the end because we'll be talking about how to combine these three techniques to really help you improve your bending. If you enjoyed the video and you want to learn more, then check out my full bending course. There's a link in the description. So without further ado, let's crack on with these steps. And step one is to move our mouth shape from an uh to an ooh. Now, this is assuming you're lip pursing, puckering. If you are a tongue blocker, then the same kind of idea applies. You just have to adapt that to your tongue blocking shape. I do cover that a bit in the blending course, and there's also a tongue blocking course, a full tongue blocking course, which I'll put the description uh, link to. So, when we play a normal, uh, natural, unbent note, that's my four draw, our mouth shape is a bit like an uh. It's not a full-on uh kind of thing, but it's more towards an uh than a ooh, ooh, like that. So in order to achieve the bend, the first thing we need to do is to shift that more to an ooh. Uh, ooh. Uh, ooh. And you might notice that when you were learning single notes, you might have been told the opposite, which is to make sure you're not pushing the lips out, puckering too much. And that's correct when you're trying to not bend. And we're almost not unlearning that, but we're we're kind of adapting that now because we're trying to get the note to move. So I'm gonna go, oh, oh. And with the harmonica in my mouth, you'll notice it starts to tighten the airflow a little bit. Now it's pushing out a little bit. Try not to let go of the harmonica, let it kind of go too far from your lips. But there will be that little bit of pushing out. In and of itself, this first step will not give us a full bend. It's only when we combine it with the next two steps that we're going to start to hopefully hear that note move. But that's the first important thing we need to do. So step two is to slurp the air, as I call it. Now imagine you're sucking through a straw, you're drinking a milkshake, and you need to get that milkshake through that straw. Now again, with natural unbent notes, I talk a lot about just letting the air come in and out freely and not impeding that air in any way. Now we're flipping that idea now and actually talking about trying to add a bit of pressure. We're not, you know, forcing the air in at great um, kind of velocity. We're not filling our lungs up massively really quickly, but we are... I can feel a bit more tension from my uh, abdominals and there's a bit more tension in my throat because I'm slurping that air. And again, you'll hear that it gives a tightness to what you're playing. It's the opposite of what we're searching for when we want a clean single note without bending. So there's that tension there in addition to our R, O in the first step. And our third and final step, which we're gonna try to combine with the others, is to hump the tongue or curl the tongue. Now there's different ways of thinking about this. If you're able to think about the back of your tongue, so this is the back, this is the front. If you're able to think about lifting that up, then you kind of, you can do that and end with this kind of curved shape. If not, you can take this tip of your tongue and drag it backwards and that'll naturally create more of a curve. And what we're trying to end up here with is a angled airflow. So normally when you breathe out, the air goes through the uh, blow reeds uh, cavity in the harmonica and naturally plays one of those reeds. When you breathe in, it comes through the other cavity, the draw reed cavity in the harmonica and plays one of those reeds. Now if we angle the airflow like this, in addition to the other two steps, 
what happens is the air comes in, in the case of the four draw, at an angle and both the draw and blow reed vibrate at the same time and we get a note which is actually between those two. So this is a crucial step. Again, you can practice without the harmonica. You won't be able to see what I'm doing, but I'm doing it. Just trying that movement, nice and slow. Just trying it and then try it with the harmonica. And that on its own will be the closest thing in terms of getting the note to move. If you just tried step three, because it's so crucial to get that angle of the airflow. But now that we've got those three simple steps, the most important thing to remember and the thing I want to finish the video with is that the difficult bit is finding the sweet spot of all these three techniques together. So it's really important to be patient and try all of these techniques on slow motion. It's really, really crucial that you do it slowly so that you can be mindful, be conscious of what you're doing and build that muscle memory in order to get this right. Now, if you go too fast and you pull back the tongue too far or you push the harmonica out too much or you use too much tension, then you're going to skip past the bend and end up just with a horrible sound, a really restricted airflow sound, or the instrument won't play at all because you pushed it too far out of your lips or you're just using too much tension. So it's a case of doing all three of those, trying to do them at the same time, but finding where the sweet spot, as I call it, the combination of all three at the right kind of severity of each one, the right extremity of each, gives you that bend. And you're aiming for something like this. So you're trying to get that note. To go something like that. Now, you might take uh, just a few minutes. If so, congratulations. If you're like me, it might take you weeks to feel really that you're getting that note to go. But sooner or later, I hope that those three different techniques combined will start to get that note to move for you. I hope that this video has been useful for you. I wish you the best of luck with your bends. Do let me know in the comments how you're getting on, what's worked for you, uh, what you're finding difficult, and I always try and respond to as many of those comments as I can. If you want to learn more about bending, check out my full bending course. And if you have enjoyed this video, then please click like and subscribe to my channel. I put out free harmonic lessons every single week. Until I see you again, good luck with your playing. I'll see you soon. Cheers.